How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about Anthem and there's some big news that was dropped today with regards to Casey Hudson, Mark Dara and Christian Daly, the future of Anthem, the future of Dragon Age. So let's get right into it. For those of you that haven't been scouring social media or checking out news websites, well Casey Hudson and Mark Dara announced their retirement from Bioware today. Casey Hudson is standing down and Mark Dara as well and Dragon Age is moving on to the leadership of Christian Daly. Christian Daly is officially leaving the Anthem team and moving over to Dragon Age in order to oversee and manage the development of Dragon Age 4. So let's break this down as to what's going on here. Casey Hudson, it's not the first time he's left the company, in fact it's been multiple times now. He originally came back to Bioware to fix the wrongs that were done with Anthem and with the team and I think he's done that for the most part and he feels now that he's basically achieved what he wanted to achieve. Back when Jason Schreier released that article, well it wasn't all fun and games and honestly there was a lot wrong within the company, the Bioware magic and all of this stuff. Bioware magic and you know all of that crap that basically they relied on to push things through and in the end it just didn't push through. He came back and restructured Bioware and set it on the right path and I think he believes now that it's time that he should move on. Now Mark Dara is another matter entirely, he is like the father of Dragon Age. Whenever I think of Dragon Age, he is one of the first names that come to my mind and for him to be stepping down from Dragon Age 4 seems like I mean it is, it seems like, well I mean it is a really big deal, I mean he has been with the Dragon Age franchise since its inception right and this is a big big blow for Dragon Age. However with that said, now we do know that Bioware has been cleaning house for some time, a lot of big names have been leaving Bioware, whether under good terms or bad terms is unknown. I'm hoping it's good terms because no one really wants to leave a company they've worked for for so many years on bad terms. So I do hope and wish Casey Hudson and Mark Dara the best on their future endeavours. However we now come to the world of Anthem and this comes full circle now with Christian Daly who has been pretty proactive with us on social media, pretty much the only one really. When you look at anyone else within the EA team, they just completely ignore anything that's related to Anthem. I mean, you just need to look on the social media and you know social accounts and you'll see it. There's just there's nothing that's being said about Anthem. If you ask a question about Anthem, it's completely ignored. Yep, I know, I'm not winning any favours in saying this, but you know what? It's the truth, and if the truth hurts, it hurts. That's life. But Christian Daly was a different breed, and he was at least providing us with bits of news, blog updates, and things were going really well. Well, now he's stepping down from the Anthem team, and has moved over to maintain and manage Dragon Age 4. And I wish him the best of luck, because he's provided us with much needed belief that the Anthem project is well on the way in recovering and being rebooted. But what does this mean for Anthem? And he released this tweet saying, Thank you for all the love and enthusiasm you've shared with me re Anthem. Wishing my friends at Casey Hudson and at Biomark Dara the very best. Big shoes to fill as I joined the Dragon Age team, tough decision but made easier because of the talented Anthem leadership and team in place. Now the big question right now is, who's taking over Anthem? What leadership is taking over? Are they going to restructure anything? Are they still going to follow the path set by Christian Daly? Now if Christian Daly was overseeing everything, it would have still had that same vision, it would have had that same mindset and that same forecast that was originally set in place. With now a different leadership coming into place, this kind of feels like the whole situation we had previously where different leaderships were jumping on board and different leaders and different people from all angles were just trying to get their two cents in. I really hope that this isn't heading down that road. I really hope as Christian Daly migrates over to the Dragon Age team that he's set in stone the structure and path for Anthem, I hope the kind of roadmap has already been laid out in how they want to go about this, what they expect to achieve for the launch of Anthem 2.0 and it's not just a half baked effort to get back out there for the community because that would be really really bad 
for not only Bioware but to the community as well and it would be, ho- be highly disrespectful and honestly I really don't want to see that happen. Now as of right now we simply don't know who's in charge, we don't know who's spearheading Anthem 2.0's revival anymore and we're back into the stage we was in pre-Christian Daily where everything is now in limbo. Hopefully in the next few days we'll get a blog update on the Bioware website where whoever's now leading the charge will announce what they're doing and they can continue the flow of information updates through their tweets and maybe more blog updates and just generally more updates for the community because the community wants to know more because there is still a strong community here for Anthem. But as of right now, I'm starting to get deja vu flashbacks, you know, people jumping off board. I mean, I don't want to think the worst, I really don't. But when you have two key figureheads leaving Bioware, you have another one now being dragged off a project that he was set to revive, placed onto Dragon Age, which let's face it, is a more prestigious title that will likely sell more copies, it doesn't leave a good taste in your mouth. It, do- it leaves a very bitter taste and at this point I'm just wondering where is this going, what's happening, what's the future of Anthem 2.0 and I think we really need clarification on this sooner rather than later, hopefully in the next week or two especially, because this is going to be a really, really, really massive blow to confidence from the community. I mean, the community has been great, they've been strong, the community has been banding together to keep the flame of Anthem alive because it is a really, really good premise of a game. The core of the game is fun to play, it just needs more content, and that's where Anthem 2.0 was coming in, and with already changes to the whole armor system, to the progression system, it's definitely heading in the right direction and it's providing us with what we want. We've had two major blog updates and they've delivered a ton of information. At this point, what does this mean? With Christian Daly's departure to Dragon Age, to me this can mean one of two things. Development is well underway and his role in spearheading the direction of the game is over and he is now over at Dragon Age to do exactly what he was doing with Anthem. That means that the development cycle for 2.0 is full steam ahead and we should potentially see it by the end of 2021 at the very latest, which is great news. The alternative to that is that, well, it's not all good news, it's a sinking ship and people are jumping off board. Now he does say that there's a new leadership and he does say that the team is still working on the project so I'm going to keep a positive mind on this one and hope for the best, think for the best and hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll get some good news and maybe even some footage to reinvigorate people's views and aspirations on 2.0 because as of right now something like that will be needed to reignite that passion and flame that people will have most definitely taken a hit on. The simple fact is losing Christian Daly to Dragon Age, which don't get me wrong, business is business, I totally understand, but losing Christian Daly from the Anthem team, who's basically been the only one that's actually communicated with us, is a big blow and he's been the overall producer for 2.0 and spearheading the direction and losing him is, is a blow. So whoever's taking over, Hopefully they can handle their own integration to the team well and come out with a bang and show us that Anthem 2.0 is still full steam ahead. Here's some gameplay footage, here is what we've done, here's a bit of story trailer, here's a bit of gameplay, what do you think? And leave it at that so we know tangibly there is great progress and Christian Daly having left the project was done so because his job with the team is done. I don't know guys, do you let me know what you think? To me it's a big blow, but I'm still going to keep a positive mind because I just really, really just want this franchise to succeed. With that said, let me know in the comment section what you think. Let's have that discussion and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you to all my Patreons who continue to support me. If you want to support the video or the channel, you can do that through my Patreon or through my YouTube membership. You can do that by clicking the join button and all proceeds go towards supporting the channel and its upkeep and providing you with even better content. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here and until the next video, stay safe 
and remain legend. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you look over to the left, you'll find a video that I'm recommending to you that I think you might actually enjoy. On the right, you'll see a video that is recommended by YouTube. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one, remember to always remain legend.